All right, guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be focusing on AMD Ryzen performance with the RX 480 and the GTX 1060. So this is going to be a GPU showdown, but paired with the Ryzen 1800X CPU, which I do have overclocked to four gigahertz. Ever since I reviewed this CPU about a month ago when it came out at launch, so many people had said, can you please go back and test with cards like the 480? and the 1060, just like you've done so many times in the past. So that is what we are going to be doing here today. For you guys that need some more information on this system, I will leave a link down below to the Better Red build video that I did the other day. But the CPU, like I said, is the 1800X. I've got that at four gigahertz. And for the RAM, I do have that at six uh, at 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RAM, which I keep overclocked at 3000 megahertz. It's been at that same setting ever since I got the, the, the RAM along with the CPU and stuff back right before Ryzen launch. So that is the test system that we are using here. And for the graphics cards, we have the MSI RX 480, which does have 1400 megahertz on the core and 2150 megahertz on the memory. And the GTX 1060 has an additional 200 megahertz on the core and 300 megahertz on the memory. So both of these graphics cards were pushed to their maximum stable overclock that I was able to get, at least with my samples. Obviously, your mileage may vary based on the graphics cards that you own out there. And all of our testing on these games was done at 1080p on the Ultra preset. The only um, the only difference here was on Mass Effect Andromeda. I did test that on the high preset because it just was is really taxing. And if I was going to be picking up this game with the RX 480 or the 1060, I would probably choose to run it on the high presets. So we're gonna be going through all of those numbers here today. For the drivers here, we are also using the latest from NVIDIA and AMD. So for the GeForce driver, it's 378.92, and on AMD, it's the Crimson driver 17.3.3, which are both the latest drivers from each side, at least at the time of me making this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead now and jump into the numbers. We'll start off with the averages, and then we will get into the minimums. Once again, this is the 1080p Ultra presets, with the exception of Mass Effect Andromeda, which was run on the high preset. And we can see here that the graph is definitely shifting towards the NVIDIA side on the GTX 1060, winning out in six of the eight games that I tested here. And a couple of them were kind of within the margin of error, like Sniper Elite 4 and Hitman, which only had a difference of one and two FPS respectively. Other games like Rainbow Six Siege and Mass Effect Andromeda, we did see uh, AMD taking a lead in those particular titles in Rainbow Six Siege, getting an average of 128 FPS, Mass Effect Andromeda, an average of 65 FPS. But all the other games that I tested here on the Ryzen system, we saw an advantage for the GTX 1060. But both of these cards are so close that it's, you know, um, you're really just going to have to pick based on what games you play. I mean, if you're out there and you only want to play Rainbow Six Siege and you're concerned about the extra 3 FPS, then, you know, the AMD card would be good for you. But really, both of these cards are still great 1080p graphics cards here, even in 2017 on some newer games, um, you know, like Sniper Elite 4, like Mass Effect Andromeda. Even though I had to test that at the high preset, I think that more or less comes down to Bioware's optimization with the engine, which they, I, in my personal opinion, they kind of fucked up on big time because they're using the Frostbite 3 engine and it doesn't run anywhere near as good as Battlefield 1, which we could see here was getting an average of 84 FPS on the RX 480 and an average of 88 FPS on the GTX 1060, and that's at the Ultra preset, and I just in my personal opinion, that game just has a whole lot more going on in it as far as the visual effects are concerned. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's an interesting result, but there it is anyway. The 1060 looks like it is taking the majority of titles, and that does continue over into the minimums as well. We did have a tie in Rainbow Six Siege, but we could see the GTX 1060 winning out here in Overwatch with a minimum of 108 FPS versus 98. GTA 5 and Sandy Shores, it got, an, it got a minimum of 71, so it never went below 60 FPS, while the RX 480 did come down to 59 FPS on its minimums. Obviously, still very playable in all of these titles. Uh, the only ones that had really concerning minimums, I would say, are, are games like Rise of the Tomb Raider and Hitman, where it came down below 50 FPS, but most of the time, it was still above 60, except for Rise of the Tomb Raider. That one was a bit of an outlier, as we saw that went down below 60 in the averages, as well as the minimums, at least on the AMD card, while it did maintain the average of 62 FPS on the GTX 1060. So those are all of our averages and minimums here for you guys. I hope this uh, maybe made your purchasing decision a little bit easier if you are still out there looking to pick up something like a 480 or a GTX 1060. But at this late stage of the game, if you are still waiting 
to pick up a graphics card at this price point, I would tell you or advise you at least to wait a little bit longer because we have rumors right now suggesting that the RX 500 series is just around the corner, very likely April 18th, which is the rumored release date for that. And it's kind of like a, a refresh really of the 400 series. It's not a massive step forward from the 400 series, but it pr will likely be better nonetheless. So if you're on the fence waiting to pick up a graphics card, I would advise you to at least just wait one more month and see what we have with the 500 series from AMD. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it as it does help me out a ton. And subscribe if you are not already. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will catch you guys next time.